Salutations, my children. Are you ready for your daily dose of NPL Season 8 Week 1 Team Builder? What is going on, guys? Crowbat Fumin of the Tokyo Minorities here today with NPL Season 8 Week 1 with the Team Builder. It's not actually the game, that'll be up in a day or two. Um, I think it's going to be Saturday. Uh, so we've got my team builder, and I've been very busy lately, a lot of schoolwork. Actually, I want to share one of my proudest projects with you guys. Here it is. Maybe I'll have to present it here on YouTube. I mean, I, I think it was some of my best work, and uh, I'm very proud of it. So why don't we just jump on right in to Showdown with my team builder. So here is the first Mon. I should probably just read off my opponent's team real quick. My opponent is Pokey Rob, uh, Pokey... TCG Gamer, which is Rob Jr., Gotham City Golarks, we've got Excadrill, we've got Weavile, we've got Z-Move Gyarados, we've got Tangrowth, and Slowbro, and Mega Altaria, and Lycanroc Dusk, another possible Z-Move user. We've got Kofagricus, Mian Shao Skunk Tank, and Hippopotas. I may have said that wrong, because I have never been able to say that right. If I managed to say that right, uh, that's a miracle. Anyway, why don't we jump in? We've got Landorus, I as my first mon. I thought it would just be, he was my first pick. I thought it would be a really solid mon to bring. Sheer Force. Jeez, I, I can't remember why. What was the speed for? I had 200 EVs in speed. I built this about a week ago. It, you know what's really amazing is that the human brain, it, it functions 24-7 starting when we were born and only stops when we take a test, talk to someone attractive, or when we record to talk about our EVs for a Pokemon game. So, I can't remember. You know what? Actually, I do remember. Thank goodness. It was for Gyarados, which is base 81 speed. Jolly nature. I decided not to outspeed Jolly Excadrill. Because I figure there was no way Excadrill would ever stay in on a Landorus anyways. It has really nothing much to hit it. Uh, it's got Iron Head, and Iron Head definitely hurts a little bit. But I thought Modest would be much better for this week. Just because it would just give so much extra power and sure a bunch of KOs that I needed. So... I put a little bit of uh, extra bulk into HP as well, so I am quite proud of this Landris. It's Life Orb, Earth Power, Sludge Wave. That's really all I need, although Hidden Power Electric is there just in case I manage to get a good hit off on Gyarados as well. And we've got Calm Mind so I can maybe set up in people's faces. I would love to do that. That would be an awesome way to win week one. Let's go to my next Mon, which is going to be Cobalion. I decided to do Choppleberry. The reason why is because of the existence of Weavile. Now, Cobalion, bar low kick, counters Weavile pretty much hard. I mean, given that it has the justified ability, uh, it's got Taunt so it can't set up, it's got Close Combat and Iron Head. I really like this set for it. So it has enough speed to outspeed Mian Chao as well. Uh, like I said, Taunt would be to prevent things from setting up, like Tangrowth, like Mega Altaria, like Slowbro, or you know, just using status moves in general. Now the Iron Head is more for coverage for the Mega Altaria, the Close Combat's just good coverage for Weavile, because uh, if I need that extra power, or just an all-around powerful attack, and Volt Switch is to gain a little bit of momentum, the momentum that I definitely feel like I will need during this game. Next, we will go to Fugacity, which is my Victini. It's Choice Banded this week with V-Create, U-Turn, Bolt Strike, and Trick. So V-Create, obvious. It hits everything really hard. It does about 45-ish percent to Mega Altaria, which that alone is really impressive, let's be real. U-turn, obviously just good momentum gaining. Uh, bolt strikes for Slowbro, pretty much that's that's about it for that. I mean, V-Create hits just about everything else. Trick is if I just want to trick maybe Mega uh, trick Slowbro or something like that. Maybe Hippo if he doesn't have an Eviolite, Light, something like that, or Trick Skunk Tank. I don't know. Kofagrigus. Maybe I'll be able to use it. I really didn't need anything in that fourth slot, so it's more or less filler. So this mod, I decided to outspeed Jolly Excadrill, because the risk of out not outspeeding Jolly Excadrill here was significantly greater, because Excadrill would just be able to out uh, would be able to KO the Victini with an Earthquake. Whereas, like I said with Lando, if I had to take a hit, I could live one. Pretty easily, I'd say. So. This time I decided to do it, and I got a little bit of bulk though into HP, and we're at 303 speed, so we're, we're doing pretty good with uh, with our speed. We I unfortunately could not run Adamant because I needed uh, to get to that 303 mark to outspeed the Excadrill. I wish I could have run Adamant, would have been awesome, but is what it is. So we got max attack as well, Jolly Nature, 
I like this set. We'll see how it does. I'm hoping to uh, spam some V creates and blow a hole into the next dimension. And now we've got my wall for the week. We've got Sylveon here, which is leftovers of Pixelate, of course. I don't know why anyone would use Cute Charm, but who knows? Maybe that'll come one week. Uh, that'd be stupid, probably, but who knows? We've got Protect, Wish, Hyper Voice, and Toxic. Just a physical wall. I mean, it takes many of the hits that he has on his team pretty well from things like Gyarados or some variants of Mega Altaria, uh, Skun Tank, not Skun Tank, but, but it can take a Sucker Punch at least. Uh, Mian Xiao does pretty well against uh, Hippo. You know, just, it's got a lot going for it. Uh, maybe I should have put Heal Bell on it. That's, uh, I wish I, maybe I had the space. I don't know. I think Protect is more important because of the high jump kick from Mian Xiao, but I might be kicking myself later for that. We'll see. Uh, all in all, pretty standard. Uh, it's Levage Feel, that's my nickname running for this week. Forgot to uh, shout out Jolt for the Victini with Fogacity. I stole that from him completely. So yeah, I think he's I think he's gonna be so proud of me. He's he's already proud of my Fogacity skills, so why don't we move on to the next? Well, how about we take this blast from the past? And we've got Fire Blast Gyarados. Except it doesn't actually have Fire Blast. Instead, it's a Mega Gyarados with Gyarados Sight, obviously Intimidate. I want to try to keep it <clears throat> not Intimidated, I want to keep it not Mega as long as possible. And I'll tell you why. Most of his team does not like Intimidate. We've got, like I said, the x the Weavile, the Gyarados, the Mega Altaria to some extent, especially because Mega Gyarados is a Dark type. The Mian Shao, just so much does not like Intimidate. I really need this thing to stay in base form as long as possible. Now, other than that, I've got Dragon Dance, and it's pretty offensive. The Ice Fang, Iron Head, and Waterfall. Wait a minute, I don't know why I have Iron, he Ice uh, Iron Head and Ice Fang, I'd better change that. Hmm. Let's see, is there a reason why I had both? I know I, wa I wanted Ice Fang maybe for Tangrowth, but I'm not sure it's worth it. Uh, you know what, I'll leave it for now, I think this is what I'm going to stick to. I don't think Earthquake has any benefit. I thought I was going to do Earthquake or something, but I guess, you know what? I'll leave it for now. If I make a small change, I will note it in the next video. Uh, I think it looks okay for now. At least for now, on quick glance. Obviously, Waterfall, Stab Attack, Dragon Dance, Iron Heads for Mega Altaria, Ice Fang for Tangrowth. You know, something like that I think would work well. Adamant Nature, so now at plus one, you know, I can outspeed. Fastest thing on his team. That was really, I think, all I needed to do. So why don't we jump into the last Mon, and this one, I'm still debating stuff. I, I don't know exactly what I'm going to do, but I think this is going to be what I'm going to do. I've got Tornadus Therian with a Life Orb, it's obviously Regenerator, it's pretty mixed in nature. It's Naive Nature with max special attack and max, or actually middle ranging speed, middle ranging attack, 280, uh, 228 EVs each. So. Knock off U-turn air slash heat wave. Now there is a problem with this team, and I feel like if I place enough offensive pressure on the team, it's not as big of an issue as I as I it might be. I want to prevent stealth rocks from going up in the field between taunt, between U-turning, between all that stuff. I want to prevent my opponent from getting stealth rocks up. It's very hard for me to add defog to this tornado Therian. If I do, it's going to be instead of knock off. I may change my mind about that before the game. I think I'm going to keep it at this though. I think knockoff could be really useful on some switches. So I think I'll leave it. But I feel like if he gets Stealth Rocks up, that's going to ruin my day. Because it's I got a lot of things weak to it. Maybe I should do Defog. I don't know. I'm going to have to keep thinking that one over. But definitely U-Turn, Air Slash, and Heat Wave are going to stay. The reason why Air Slash over Hurricane is one, I don't have a Rain Setter. Wish I did. And two, he has Hippo on his team, he might run Sand, I don't want to risk missing something in the Sand. Uh, I know that you know I've had some good luck in the past, but that doesn't necessarily mean I'm going to have good luck in the future. Uh, it's not something that I want to do with my life. I don't want to have that happen. So I've also got Life Orb, by the way, just to power up all the attacks. Uh, that's pretty much it. I mean, I like the team, I think it has a chance. The only way I can win, though, is if I put enough offensive pressure on him, and if I keep rocks off the field. If it doesn't work this week, uh, I'm going to have to reevaluate maybe how I use Stealth Rocks or how I use Defog in the future, but I'm really hoping that just maybe I can put enough pressure on him to not have that happen. So all in all, that's, that's my team for the week. 
Once again, I'm going against Excadrill, Weavile, Z-Move Gyarados, Tangrowth, Slowbro, Mega Altaria, Z-Move, Lycanroc, Duskform, Cofagrigus, Mianchow, Skunk Tank, and Hippopotas. So, that's it for this week. Rate, comment, subscribe, guys, and be sure to check out the game when it airs this Saturday. Peace.